So Jesus, club culture, and terrorism all feature in the film and telly series that I want to talk to you about today. So let's start with Jesus. You happy there, Miguel? It is a cat I'm scratching. I'm not just scratching the air randomly. Uh, Last Days in the Desert is directed by Rodriguez Garcia and it tells the story of an imagined chapter from Jesus's life during the 40 days where he fast and prayed in the desert and Ewan McGregor plays Yeshua, hello, as he's known here as well as the devil who tempts and torments him as he wanders this ancient land seeking God's presence. Now along the way he meets a family and he decides to test himself by trying to solve a dispute between the father and the son. Gee, I've got to think about deserts at the moment. Gosh, they look good on camera, don't they? It was Bolivia a few weeks ago with salt and fire. But back to the point, this film too is beautifully shot and using only natural light. And it makes you feel like the very few characters in this film are the only people on earth. Although in fact it was just the film was just shot four hours out of Los Angeles. Um, the pacing is very uh, unusual. The film flows much like the performances in a very natural way. This isn't so much a faith-based movie, which is becoming a very popular genre at the moment, more it's a film which tries to present Jesus to us sort of in a human way, in a human light. So Last Days in the Desert screens on Saturday the 25th of November. Now recently I wrote an article for the New Zealand Herald about club culture in cinema and it sort of started with the discotheque, you know, Saturday Night Fever, and it ended with the rave culture thanks to very cool cult classic films such as 2002's docudrama 24 Hour Party People which I watched and thoroughly enjoyed. So, as you can imagine, I was rather delighted to see Michael Winterbottom's chronicle of the birth of dance music in the UK through the rise and fall of the Hacienda um, Acid House Club and also the Factory Records label um, on the bill this week. So 24 Hour Party People is screening on Friday the 24th of November. It features a memorable performance from Steve Coogan as Tony Wilson, the founder. And it's a film that does such a good job of capturing the chaos and excitement of dancing the night away or weekend. Although that kind of thing is a distant memory for me. Uh, And speaking of Friday evenings, I just want to give you a heads up that the third season of The Bureau kicks off next week. I've just watched the first episode and that's why I wanted to mention it because it's yeah in my mind I thought I was watching a movie it is really intense and full-on if you haven't watched the bureau it is a a French television series about a French agent who becomes the double agent with the CIA and betrays his country and um, you can still work out what's happening it's gonna take you a couple of episodes to get right into it but it is definitely worth it so that is the bureau heads up kicking off next week so that's it from Miguel and I we'll talk next week see ya